All right, guys, welcome back to the Bluegrass on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're out doing a little dog training. We've got other people behind us. They're doing a little car cleaning. All in all, we're all enjoying the day the Lord has blessed us with. Uh, here's what we're doing. Uh, we have come up to the world famous Jeff's Car Wash. So if you're ever in Winchester and you want to run into Uncle Stoney, stop by Jeff's Car Wash because there's a good chance that I might be up here either washing my car or training my dog. Uh, and yes, if you're wondering, my buddy Jeff does own the car wash and that's why I'm uh, giving him a shout out on YouTube. Okay, but what we're doing today is we're working on environmental socialization and skill set transfer. Car washes are awesome places to work on environmental socialization because there's a lot of scent, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of noise, and there's changes in relative humidity from uh, one bay to the next. In other words, you'll go through a dry bay and you'll go through a wet bay, okay? And you might say, well, Stoney, what difference does that make? Well, humidity affects olfaction, and olfaction, uh, it really affects a dog's behavior. In other words, how well they smell things and what range of things they've been exposed to, okay, uh, in terms of odor. Uh, you could take a nervous dog. When we would first walk her up here, she would do great all along the highway and even over by tractor supply. But when we got into the car wash, if uh, there were any chemicals around anywhere, she would get real finicky and not want to walk through the bay. So this is kind of our routine. We'll walk up here. And one of the things that we do is we practice, come on, Maxie, is we practice a follow game. Come on, up, up. So I'll get up here and you'll see like this dog has a natural tendency to want to lead. Well, what I want her to do is follow. And she gets a little bit nervous uh, when she sees people, like uh, got a guy working on his car, we got some people going into the tractor supply, and she'll get a little nervous, okay? So, like, this dog's owner, they go to national parks a lot and stuff, and they get on trails, there's a lot of people, and with this kind of dog especially, sometimes you need them to follow. So what I do is I come up here, wait, and I work on following. So I'm going to walk in front of Maxie, and I'm going to expect her to balance as I walk along this retaining wall. This is a very important skill set. And it really helps me put myself in the, in the position of being able to kind of uh, run interference um, for the types of things that cause Maxie to bark. Because she's kind of a big barker when she sees somebody new. Very nice. So we'll get up here and then I'll turn around. And we'll just do this a few times. Come on, Maxie, you can do it. And when I stop right about here, you'll see this is pretty high off the ground. You say, hey, Stoney, isn't that dangerous? Uh, well, of course it's dangerous. That's why we work on establishing this core skill set at the kennel. And then when we first come up here, we just stay uh, on the part of the retaining wall that's low. But Maxie, I mean, her owners, they live in Colorado and they just go on all kinds of crazy trails. And so it's very important that she understands about proper foot placement and body control. You know, proprioception is something we really preach at my kennel. Uh, and uh, so we have to put it in action as often as we can. Now, one of the other things you'll notice when we're up here, Georgie, can you see all this trash? This is one of the problems, guys, with uh, the lack of citizenship in today's society. People just put trash everywhere. And, uh, you know, when you're out and you're socializing your dog, not only are you thinking about wor working on your kind of your obedience uh, skill set and working on the dog's general socialization as it relates to, you know, movement and people and other animals, okay, you're also working on, like, uh, making sure that she doesn't pick up trash. And a car wash is the kind of place where people have a tendency to throw down Coke cans and, uh, uh, you know, uh, food wrappers and stuff like that. Soon as we start getting over here, you can you know, there's like a, a humidity change, and like you start to smell all these crazy odors that go along with the soap and the rinse in the uh, car wash bays. So we like to walk through here, and this is kind of like a cave, you know. I come in the cave, and the dog has to trust me to come in the cave, and then look. So here it starts getting wet, so that's a different texture. It's all kinds of odors in here, and I'm going to walk along this metal grate. And I might just kind of, look, see how she's trying to avoid the grate? I'm just going to put her in a situation where she has to trust me. And, and one of the main things that, if you're going to take your dog out and do a lot of adventuring with them, one of the main things that you have to establish early on is that the dog can trust you regardless of um, the uh, context of the situation, right? So like right here, when we first started bringing Maxie up here, we put her on these grates and she would just freak out trying to get off the grate, you know, or she would try to drink the water. She'd be like, oh, this uh, <laughs> smells good. I think I'll drink it. So like it's just a just a perfect place to work on teaching the dog to trust you and work on setting limits with your dog's exploratory behavior. Huh? Come on. 
Very nice. Now, so here's a car. We can just walk right past this car. Dun, 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 and then there's a, some vacuums. The vacuums provide a perfect place. Hop, up, hop, 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 hop. Come on, you can do it. It provides a perfect place to work on jump. So look, I can take a little treat and I can say, come on, Maxie, you can do it. Have Maxie try to jump up here. Now, if she can't jump, then I say, okay, I'll help you. And that's kind of the overarching theme of what we're doing today is we're going out and uh, we're putting Maxie in challenging positions and teaching her that we'll always be there to help her, right? And that's exactly what happened at the kennel. When we're teaching the small challenges course, we're always there to help her. And so then she establishes a core group of skills and then we start to expand uh, the uh, application of those skills into uh, wider and wider uh, situations. Okay, Maxie, come on, get down. Very nice. Oh, you're a good dog, Maxie. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, you can do it. Try a little harder. Oh, very good. Oh, now look. Oh, I'll get up here with her. Come on, Maxie. You can do it. We'll get all the way up in this retaining wall, in this forest. <laughs> can you see us, Georgie? Very nice. Guys, I'm telling you, there's awesome places to train everywhere. You don't have to have a big, nice kennel like me to have good dog training. Okay, Maxie. Come on, come on. Very good. A lot of times when you're trying to do something like get a dog to jump up uh, on, uh, you know, on a surface that they're not familiar with, like you'll think that they can't do it. It's not that they can't do it. It's just that they're not comfortable enough to do it. Maxie, come on. You can do it. Come on, come on. See, like so she's wanting to do it. Just needs a little help. Very nice. Come on, come on. Oh, very good dog. Very good dog. You a smarty. Oh my gosh. You were such a smart dog. Come on. Now the big problem we had with Maxie was when we first started coming up here, uh, it's like she would bark at everybody, you know. And we've about got that licked at least. Come on, Maxie. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, you're fine. All right, so there's a nice lady hanging out. And Maxie didn't bark at her. And since Maxie didn't bark at that lady, we're going to go ahead and wrap this session up because that is, uh, you know, that's a lot of success for us today. All right, so uh, we'll check in with you next week and uh, see how Maxie's doing.